Hey guys, what's up? This is Rex and welcome back to the Make with Rex show. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend projects and in this video I'm going to talk about a special filament that I have in house right now and this is all about TPU. By the way guys, in this video I'm giving away 5 custom 3D printed keychains. So if you want to win one of those, watch till the end. A few moments later TPU stands for thermoplastic urethane which is a compound that is highly flexible and elastic so however deformed you make it will come back to its original shape and depending on the manufacturer the elasticity and the flexibility changes now the TPU that I have I bought it from Aliexpress and it seems to have less flexibility but higher elasticity so however a deform it will come back to its original shape but it won't stretch that much Okay, now to print with TPU, I need to change a couple of settings in my slicer profile. The first thing that I will be changing is the line width, which is 0.4 right now, but it needs to be 0.6 or 0.7 depending upon your extruder. And the second thing that I need to change is the print temperature. So basically, TPU works from around 220 degrees Celsius to 235 degrees Celsius, and it depends on the manufacturer. And then we need to increase the flow, and this is totally depending on your extruder. For me, 105 works best and you need to disable retraction else the print will just fail and then i need to disable any kind of raft and support system the only thing that i use is curt because that primes the nozzle very well and it works fine and to improve the print quality the option that you can use is coasting which is just down below the Anet prints a flexible bench without a problem. As you can see, the print quality is also decent. And now we will see how stiff or elastic is the material. Let's do an impact test. Now the basic question comes to the fact whether the ender can also 3D print a flexible filament. Yeah, it can and as you can see the print quality is better than the Anet A8. It stick excellently to the bed and the difference in the print would be the Anet has a bit of matte finish while the ender has a bit of gloss finish. The question comes what can you make with TPU? You can make custom phone cover just like this one. Make custom keychains just like this Batman keychain or you can make your action camera enclosure uh, for, for the tripods so it totally depends on your imagination how you want to use a TPU to win this keychain all you need to do is comment down a crazy idea or crazy ideas whatever you can there is no limit on commenting so I will be selecting five crazy ideas for my videos from the comment and those five people will be allowed and given a chance to design their own custom keychains which will be printed and sent to them from make with rex and by the way if you like this video make sure you subscribe share and like and do whatever you like bye